Good morning, folks. The northern coronal hole begins to depart the Earth-facing disk, and there were no eruptions on our side of the sun. Activity on our star is low. Top eruption threats come in filament form. Got a couple we're watching down south, some Earth-facing, and others coming in behind them. We also have some smaller ropes in a tilted U-shape on the north. These appear a bit more stable, but they also have new and growing spots surrounding them. Speaking of sunspots, the established duo are the ones we'll analyze today, the big ones. Departing, we have a gamma class with red negative splitting the positive blue, but no solid delta mixing. Incoming down south, both large umbral cores are negative here, and their interaction zones are far away, trailing and out ahead. The magnetospheric disruption is waning away. Our lone tick upwards is due to a higher density stream we saw overnight, but with speed and plasma temperature dropping, Earth's shield is doing just fine. Top quakes of the day were in the Indian Ocean and in China, neither of major magnitude but both above average for the location. Top stories today include a geoengineering article that will make you smile and cringe. They recognize the danger, good, but continue to say we may have to do it anyway, and still no admission of any ongoing operations. A terrific article is out from Johns Hopkins. They've mapped different galactic particles and wavelengths with a focus on diffuse interstellar bands. This is linked below. We've also seen some pretty bad flooding in Australia the last few days, seen it in Gaza as well, and a hailstorm struck eastern India so hard it destroyed dozens of homes, killed animals, and wiped out local agriculture. Phoenix, Mobile Observatory is in town. Check out observatoryproject.com for details on tomorrow's event. Over at suspiciousobservers.org, the first couple episodes of Deeper Look have been posted, and it's Saturday, so in a few hours we'll post another episode of Fly on the Wall. If you are not yet a member, it's just 3 bucks a month or 20 when you get a full year, about 75 hours of content. Pulling up the wind map, we've got lows off the west coast bringing rain to some drought areas. We also see a flow going over the Great Lakes that could drop up to 2 feet of snow in some places just east of there. The high-pressure node to the south will shift today and begin pulling onto land, making freezing rain for Texas as well. Got a day's worth of satellite here. In Europe, we are still eyeing this major flow off the Atlantic that ends up wrapping up and around the lows you can see just to the north. This has been the major weather maker for a few days now, and as long as those lows stick around, so will the moisture flow from the ocean. Down under, you can see the lows and the convergence line pointing right at them, even clearer than we could see them yesterday. There will be no surprises as you watch the cloud line and thunderstorm warnings for this evening. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.05 a.m. in Phoenix. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.